Also, the headlights in this Ford Transit Connect are awful. This is a 2015 model. I thought on the 2015 they'd be better than they are, but they're awful. So I'm going to go to a dark spot and show you how bad they are. Because tomorrow I'm going to fit an LED headlight upgrade kit and show you how good they can be. But look, take a look at this. So I'm at the dark spot. Behind me is Asda. But this is a dark kind of corner of Asda. So let me show you. So there we go. Now I think like the camera's even brightening it up because it looks actually better than it probably is there. So we've got daytime running lights side lights, low beam, and then high beam. Now, I don't know, but it just feels, when you're driving so dark, it looks brighter on here than it is, but it just feels so dark. Now tomorrow I'm gonna fit this headlight LED upgrade kit. And then I'll come here again tomorrow to show you what it's like. Now let's have a look at the kit. So this is the kit that I ordered. It came quite fast. Got them from a chap called Simon. He's got a company on Facebook. Let's have a look. Lighting the way. So this is the man to get them from. I've not been paid to review these or anything like that, but I have got a code you can use to get 10% discount. If you want to get 10% discount off these, then go to his page, put a comment in there, say that you want to buy them. He does it through um, PayPal. And use the code DOGGO, D-O-G-G-O, -G -G -O, DOGGO, for 10% discount. And he'll sort you out. So, what I ordered was um, side lights, high beam, low beam. My high beam also are my daytime running lights, so it's two in one. So that's what I ordered. And I got two boxes coming to the post. This one and this one. This one, I think, is going to be the high beam. The reason for that is because there's two different symbols on there for lights. So, here we go. What we have is LED with a built in fan and heat sink, and this looks like it has three connections on there so daytime running light and high beam. Next, we have these. Aha, there's my side lights. Right, and these are going to be my low beams. Now then, these are H7s. So we've got H7 fitment, LED the side. These have got fan built into them as well. And then a separate ballast and two pin connection. So again, it should be dead straight swap. It should be. Thank you, Simon. Don't forget everyone to use the link, the code DOGGO, to get your discount. Let's get them fitted, let's see how they look. Right, so we've got side light, daytime running and main beam, and low beam. So looking in here, well, let's look from this angle. That looks like that's going to be daytime running light high beam. We've got low beam and then just down underneath somewhere is going to be a side light. You've got a cover on the back, you just pull it off, it takes a bit of force. Right now, this 
which is a little bit of a struggle until I understood how to do it. You've got a plug underneath which just slide down, but you don't need to slide it off. This bolt feels really firm, but you just need to turn it oh, counterclockwise and it will undo. The three pins like hit themselves into the holder as you twist it in and out. So you don't need to remove the plug. Then we get our new one, Moment of Truth, because this is blooming massive. That seemed far too easy. Far too easy. Let's check it. Hopefully, the next one will be as easy, eh? Now for the low beam. I can't see any clip holding it in. So I'm just going to wiggle it. And it pulls the plug off. So I don't think there's a clip holding it in, you just wiggle it and pull it. And if the holder comes off, put it back on and do it again. Now before I put this on, I'm going to do the side light because there's not a lot of space in here. The side light's in the same hole. That ball will get in the way. So that just pulls out. Let's give it a little tug. So that bad boy's gone in instead. It just pushes in, you can feel it click in. Now we're going to try and get this in. So, this should theoretically just push in. So, you just push it in into the holder, and now these have got positive and negative on it. So, what we need is the two wires on the plug go to the negative. Push them in. Ballast in, wires in, and this cover should still fit on. Let's cover on. So that's them done. So now I've just got to do the same again the other side, and then that's finished this is really probably only a 15 minute job if that so that's it finished I think it'll probably take less than 10 minutes if you know what you're doing like I do now and you won't film yourself do it I think less than 10 minutes so this is dip beams See dip beam and side light there. Side lights only. They are nice and bright. And then last of all, daytime running lights. Boom. So tonight, when it gets dark, I'll go back to the car park and we'll see what they look like in the dark. So far I'm impressed and the fit was super easy so it shouldn't be a difficult shouldn't be difficult for anyone. So I'm heading back to the car park so we can see the difference in the lights. The difference is huge, absolutely huge. Definitely worth spending the money for. Let me just show you down here. So there's some bad boy racers parked in the spot I was in. I don't know if you can see in the background there. So I can't get in the spot. This is dark in front of me though. So I'll show you this. So I've just got 
side lights now. I've got daytime running lights and then main beam and then also high beam. That is just a world away from what it was. So there we go. That's the difference. I'd recommend getting yourself some of them on order right now. Sorry it's so dark in here, but I'm surrounded by bad boy racers. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you're thinking about subscribing, then now would be a real good time. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, bye, bye.